Alrighty then, welcome back, and uh, it's um, I reckon quarter to four on a Tuesday, first week back into maintenance. Hello, Doug. Um, I have a bottle of Prony. The sun is out, and I have do have things to do. I got um, my battery strimmer is making a noise like it's going to shit itself, so I'll look at that. And my head tri trimmer needs sharpening. But yeah. The sun is out and we are back to maintenance. So I don't see anything wrong with a beer sat in the garden before I carry on my day. Like I say, I've got a few things to do. Don't eat that. Anyway, there's nothing as queer as some folk, is there? Are we still allowed to say that? Well, some folks are odd. Anyway, used to do a maintenance job, I reckon 2019, just before the old COVID, the old Rona kicked off and two houses, one big house split into two, so like two semis. Hello. And turned up there to do the one job. The neighbour came out from next door, stormed across like I just ran over his cat or something. He was not happy. I hadn't run over anybody's cat. He looked at me and said, do you have to park on the drive? And I was like, and this was before I would have just told him where to go. In a, in a friendly fashion, um, of which you were to see. He was um, like, do you have to park on my drive? And I was like, we're just here to cut the lawns. It's fine when we are along, if I'm blocking you in. He said, no, it's not that. He said, your wheels are making marks in the gravel. I'm like, all right. As my brain's ticking over now, thinking how, the, how is this conversation going to go? Where are we leading? He said, do not come down here again and pull onto the drive and turn in. He said, I want you to go all the way to the bottom, which was a shithole, go all the way to the bottom, turn, come back up, so you're straight in, straight out. No pulling on the drive. All right, yeah, no worries. Cut the lawn. The lawn was a job as well as a waste of time, really. Underpriced. Next time I went there, down the bottom, did the million point turn, and out. Parked up, cut the lawn. Now this went on, periodically for like I say maybe a year 2019 maybe a bit before that we started anyway it was a good year season and a bit put it that way and this guy kept on and on and on where it was driving his stones and this and that anyway in the end sacked it off I was like oh, I ain't doing this Kobe came along just didn't get back to the job anyway this time of year now, my phone never stops ringing, binging, tinging, notifications, WhatsApp, all that jargon. Had a call. Hello, it's so and so, so and so from so and so. All right, yeah, I knew it was. Would you like to come and give us a maintenance price on our property? And I'm like, oh, I just didn't know what to say. What can you say? After all the bollockings I had for like months and months and months about how to turn my wheels in the van. Do you mind not turning so sharp? Can you turn down the end? Do you have to bring your van down here? Can't you park on that busy road where you're going to cause an accident? No, not particularly. Anyway, can you come and give us a maintenance price? I was like, hmm, no, you're all right. I did kind of refrain from saying about it. Was I allowed on the drive? Can I turn my wheels? In the end, it was just like, no, we're fully booked. But yeah, some people, how would you? What do you mean I couldn't do it? I couldn't give someone a bollocking for no reason for a year on and off and then be like, oh, it's okay, can you come and do this for me? Anyway, my beer's getting warm, so um, I'll check in with you again. You guys take care. Guys, girls, whichever, I don't know, dogs, who's ever watching. See you later.